These are sweet pallets right here. These are five by twelves. And uh, my buddy Rusty, he was just here and dropped these off for me. If you remember, Rusty's the one we were out splitting some firewood at his uh, dad's place on New Year's Day. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up above. But anyway, Rusty gets these from his work. And what I'm going to use these for, well, multiple things. I'll use them to stack some firewood on. But the first one what I'm going to do is sit down by the sawmill. And we're going to be sawing a lot of that red pine for some uh, framing lumber for like some drying sheds and things like that. And I'll be able to stick her right onto these, stack it up real high. You can fit a lot of lumber on these. And like I said, they're 12 feet long. Work out really well. But I was surprised at how heavy these things are. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, jag there on the RK-55. But uh, I'm going to take these down below. We'll come back up. I want to show you something else when I get back up to the house here. Just the other day, I was out in the woods with the uh, RK-55 and the Wallenstein skidding winch, and I pulled this uh, white oak down. It was hung up in another tree. This tree had been standing dead for quite a while, probably four or five years, something like that. And it was standing, and then eventually fell over and got hung up in that red oak. And uh, you could tell it had been dead for a long time because there were no roots left on it, just a little root ball. And I've seen these before. A lot of these white oaks around here, we've got some real big ones. But the little ones seem to struggle. I don't know what kills them before they get real big. But uh, anyway, when I was out there, I mentioned that uh, a lot of people talk about standing dead timber and it's ready to burn for firewood. Uh, in my opinion, it all depends on the species. You know, I guess ash, you know, I can only speak for woods that we have here in Western Pennsylvania. But like ash, I think you could do that. Cherry dries pretty quick. Uh, but like this white oak and red oak, things like that, it takes a really long time. And I estimate this has been dead, like I said, for four or five years. So what we're going to do, we're going to split this thing open and we'll check and see what the moisture content inside this log. But before we do that, I had a lot of questions, probably a dozen, literally people asking why I don't saw logs like this on the wood miser. And the other day I mentioned it was about 10 inches in diameter. And uh, this piece right here is probably the fourth or fifth piece, something like that, up the tree. And it's about nine inches in diameter. So what I did, I marked on this end with a Sharpie. That would be best case scenario, what you're going to get out of this log. You're going to get three 1x4s and one 1x3. That's center 4x4. All I use that for is like for cribbing uh, because it's prone to check, crack, twist. Not good to saw boards right out of this middle here. So, like I said, best case scenario, and I mean it would have to be 
perfect to get those three one by fours and one one by three. So that amount of lumber equals about 10 board feet. Uh, small, narrow pieces like that, you're probably looking at $1.50 a board foot. You're looking at $15 worth of lumber. So I don't know if it's right or wrong, but the way I see it, that is not worth my time because to put this on the mill, saw it up with that LX150 for 15 bucks, I'm looking at a half hour, 40 minutes, I don't know how long it would take, but it's just not worth it for me to do that. Now, as far as firewood goes, you know, this here, I just marked it up into four pieces. We split our firewood kind of small because most of the people that we sell to like it that way. Most of the people don't buy wood from us to heat their house primarily. Most of it's for recreational burning, whether it be a fireplace, outdoor patios, things like that. Campfires, we sell a lot of wood and we sell it all in increments of a cord. Uh, the few people that I do sell wood to that heat their house, they usually buy three full cords a year. Everybody else we sell by a third of a cord. Now since we split our wood small, we get about uh, 750 pieces of wood and a full cord of firewood, okay? Now a third of a cord, get about $125 for. It's a real good market around here. That's them coming here and picking it up. So you're looking at 250 pieces of wood. Long story short, if my math is correct, uh, if I had an eight foot log, nine inches in diameter, you're gonna get about 24 pieces of wood out of it and they're worth about 50 cents a piece. So that's $12 worth of firewood compared to $15 worth of lumber. So you think, okay, why not do the lumber? Because I can cut this up an eight footer and run it through that wool fridge splitter in probably 10 minutes. I mean, less than that actually, say five minutes or whatever, it wouldn't take long at all. So five minutes, you end up with uh, $12 worth of wood or 35 or 40 minutes to get $15 worth of wood. You know, obviously I'm not gonna get rich at this, but we have a lot of wood and uh, it has always been a really good side business and we're kind of expanding on that. And I mentioned before, I'm just learning on this mill, but uh, that is why, this is kind of good for me as well. It gives me a good idea of what you can get out of one log and uh, my number seems to be right now 12 inches or larger. And even at 12 inches diameter put on the sawmill, you gotta have some really nice straight logs and it's gotta be you know, good lumber. But even like that red pine, I'll saw some 12 inch stuff of there because the red pine I can saw right through the center, not like these hardwoods. Uh, you know, that whole center kind of goes, you don't use it, you know what I mean? So red pine, 12 inches, the hardwoods probably 13 inches and up I'll saw. But once you get into that stuff, it's even like 18 inches in diameter. I mean, you can make some boards out of one of them. It becomes uh, well worth it at that point. So anyway, I think that uh, answers that question. Yeah, I had a lot of comments on that. You know, people wondering why I didn't put this on the wood miser. Don't know if it's right or wrong, like I said, but uh, that's the way I see it. Now we're going to split this in half. I'll get the moisture meter and we'll see what the moisture content is in this log right here that's been dead for probably four or five years, something like that. I missed this. So uh, Melissa and Piper just joined us, but uh, tell them about Piper. Piper was at the salon yesterday, got her hair done, so she looks a little thinner. She looks a lot thinner. Yeah. She says thank you. Look how... Uh, she. This is a nice little neckerchief they give the dogs at the groomers. And she looks at it as, it's a bib. Bring on the food. <laughs> Strap on the feed bag. Yeah. So we haven't... Uh, we haven't done a whole lot of much anything today, to tell you the truth. But it's super warm. It's like 60 degrees. It is very warm, yeah, compared but, uh, to two days ago. It's just a sloppy, muddy mess everywhere you go. You it can't is. even do anything. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yep. If they know what they're talking about, the uh, forecasters, uh, it looks like the end of this week, it's supposed to get cold. And I don't see like above freezing temperatures for, you know, 10 days after that. So. That's what Mike wants. Freeze up. Freeze up, Freeze up solid. He does not like mud. Hate mud. Can't do anything but make a mess. Well, let's check the moisture on this uh, oh, okay, yeah. white oak. All right, so let's see what the uh, moisture content is. Let me get that off of there. <laughs> you have to Good. squeeze a little tab. There you go. Can edit that out. Take these little backs, rubber backs off. Well, covers, they're like backs to the earrings is what I think. 
Okay. 23.2. Yep. Try the other side. 19.9. All right, so that's a little over 20% moisture content, which just about ready to burn uh, from my understanding. But, uh, you know, keep in mind that has been dead for probably four, five years, something like that, standing. Oh, wow. So, standing dead trees, white oak, it takes forever to dry. Okay. Not like uh, ash or something like that. So now we know the answer to that. Something dripped on me. I think it just rain. Uh. All right, so there you have it. 20% moisture content, and he's already told you why he doesn't cut these on the sawmill. And guess what we're doing next? We are going to get dinner. Yeah, we I didn't shot. accomplish a whole bunch today. Got a few little things done, yeah. but uh, just kind of one of those lazy days. Yeah, but it's nice and warm out, so we gotta do a few things, and now it's time to go get dinner. Where are we going? That's a good question. I know where Mike picks, Steakhouse. So, yeah. I love steak, I'm in the mood for steak, so sounds good to me. If you like these videos, click the like button, subscribe, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And welcome to all the new subscribers and share them with your friends. Thanks.